Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video we're going to test together the face palette by Catrice Cosmetics. This is a professional makeup techniques face palette. In this palette we have eight products. Six of them are powders and we also have two creamy products. One of them is a concealer and we also get a creamy highlighter. And I want to start with the concealer to see how it blends on my skin because my under eye area is very dry. I have swatched this concealer and it has a thicker consistency so I'm very curious to see how it will blend on my dry skin. First of all I'm going to prep my skin with some primer. I will use this one by Catrice and I will have everything in the description box below. After that I'm going to apply my foundation. I will use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. I have a wear test video for this one. I will have it here if you want to watch the review of the foundation. After foundation Foundation, I'm going to use a concealer on my eyes. I always apply my products this way. I don't like using my concealer before my foundation. Okay, so let's start with the concealer. It has a thick consistency. It's not very easy to touch it. It is a little bit greasy, I would say, and it is very light for me, but I want to see how it blends on my skin and also how it looks on my under eye area. If I don't like it, I will remove it. I I will apply it with a synthetic brush. This is number 8 by BH Cosmetics and I always prefer synthetic brushes for creamy products because it is easier to wash them. As you can see I have some purple discolorations here that I can cancel with a yellow toned concealer. This is a very light shade. I think it has a little bit of pink. I don't see this shade working for a lot of different skin tones. It's not blending very nice with the brush and I think it is drying out pretty quickly. Yes, that's what happened on the back of my hand too. And I will try to blend it a little bit with my sponge. Maybe it is easier. This feels very, very dry. And as we can see, it doesn't cover anything. It's a very light shade. I will try to apply some with only my fingertip just to see how it looks. No, this doesn't look nice. I don't like how it looks here. It looks very dry, if you can see that. I will remove it and I will apply my regular concealer. And then we're going to try all of this goodness. I have set my foundation with powder and I also did my brows off camera. And let's continue with the rest of the products. With brush 109 by MAC, I will take this one here in the corner, the light contouring shade in a matte finish. This is a little bit powdery and tap the excess off. Also blend it inside your hair so you don't have any visible lines here of contouring and hair, you know that straight line. And also guys don't forget to subscribe because I don't know what's happening with YouTube. I'm not very sure that you are getting notifications for my videos. I also had some issues with uploading this week. My thumbnail was not showing and no thumbnail. Who is going to click on the video, you know? This contouring shade is blending very nicely on my skin. It's not looking patchy and it's not very warm or not very cool toned. We have some kickback in the palette. Make sure to tap the excess off from your brush. This is a shade that I have applied now on my skin and I like how it looks. And we also have a darker shade with a matte finish. This one is also very soft. We also have a bronzer shade, this one here. And this one is very shimmery and has some very fine micro glitter, I think. It has like a peachy brownish color. I think I have over contoured my face. So we have a shade here. I want to use it to slightly correct my contouring. I will take this shade here. It is a light yellow beige powder with L brush by Zerva Cosmetics. And I want to correct here my contouring. I have applied a lot. I don't think that it makes a change. I will try to stamp it. I think 
think this didn't do anything. I will try to apply it on top of it. Maybe I can make the contouring shade lighter. I think I'm not so dark anymore. Even the lighter contouring shade is very pigmented, so don't apply a lot. Don't do what I have done. Um. Let's try the blush that we have. As we can see, it is a little bit darker for me. I will take a small amount of the product. If you have a similar skin tone with me, don't use a lot of this blush because it is very pigmented and dark and it will look very nice for someone with a darker skin tone. I will take again the light powder and tap the excess off and I will blend the edges of my blush. I would suggest using a fluffier brush and just a very small amount of the product and blend it on the highest point of your cheeks. We also have a creamy highlighter that I forgot and I didn't apply before I applied powder but I want to show you on the hand you need to blend it very fast because it dries down and after that you're not able to blend it. It has a thick consistency and it is a little bit sticky, not a lot. So I'm going to apply the powder highlighter on top of it and it looks very nice. It is like a light champagne color. It has a very nice sheen. I want to see how the bronzer looks on top of the creamy highlighter. Ooh, it looks very shiny and a little bit lighter in color because of the frosty white finish of the creamy highlighter. With E40 brush by Sigma, I will take a little bit of this powder highlighter and tap the excess off. Ooh, that looks very pretty. It's not very reflective, but it gives a very nice sheen. Okay, you can make it more reflective, yes, with a second layer. This looks very nice. It is a light champagne color with a little bit of yellow, I think. In the beginning, it was looking like a very shy highlighter, something with not a lot of sheen, but if you apply a second layer, oh my god, this is blinding. If you have a darker skin tone, you can use the bronzer or you can mix the two colors together. You can also make another shade with the creamy highlighter. I like the highlighters in the palette, very nice. Love it! Do you guys like this type of highlighters? Or do you think it is not appropriate for every day? Super pretty, pretty! I have done my eye makeup off camera. I have used this little cutie pie by Essence. This is the Make Your Own Magic Eyeshadow Box 6. And I will post this review on Wednesday, so stay tuned. I like this palette. The packaging is a little bit bulky and we also get a very tiny brush that I don't think it is useful as a face brush, it is very small to use. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you have tried this palette, do you like it or do you have another face palette from the drugstore or an affordable brand that you like? If you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!